What's up everybody? Welcome to Laguna, the channel dedicated to Arsenal Football Club, by far the greatest team the world has ever seen. And it's the day after transfer deadline day. So as anticipated, no last minute signings of Caicedo or anyone else for that matter. Um, and the, the one deal we did do yesterday, which came out of the blue a little bit, was something that popped up first on Monday night and um, caught a few of us by surprise. But by Tuesday, it was quite clear that it was getting done. It's a player that Arteta has apparently been interested in for quite a while. Um, Jorginho really has divided opinion amongst the fans. I know that a lot of uh, the talk has been around. He's washed up. He's finished. Uh, he lacks pace. I think it, he's only 31. Um, and I, I'm not suggesting for a minute he's the fastest player. But I think a lot of this is coming from us, you know, as a fan base, wanting to sign that big marquee signing. That really, you know, especially when you look at the kind of business, the crazy business that Chelsea are doing. They, they seem to sign everybody. Um, nearly, I think it's over 600 million they spent. Uh, I'm not going to talk about them too much, though, except to say thank you for Jorginho. Because I think there's a reason that Arteta has brought him in and has, has liked him for a long time. And that's because he knows what he's doing as a defensive midfielder. Now, do I think that he could come in and replace Thomas Partey? No. But the key issue here is, had we not signed anybody, we now know El Elneny, uh, even though the club have been very tight-lipped about it, we, it now looks like El Elneny is not going to feature for the rest of the season. Uh, and I, I just want to take this moment to wish El Elneny a speedy recovery. Um, I'm a huge fan of his. I think he's heart and soul Arsenal and he always gives 100%. And we're always going to love players who, who do that for the club. But do I think Jorginho can come in and replace El Elneny? Yes, I do. I think when you look at Jorginho, he is a player who has won everything in the game. Well, almost everything. He's yet to win a Premier League. But I think by June... That will have changed. I don't know how many games he's likely to get, but we do have the Europa League. You know, we, it, for me, it's a no-brainer that you cannot play Thomas Partey. I don't think he's going to make 38 games. I don't think he's the sort of player on past, on track record, even though I don't think he had any injury problems at Atletico Madrid. Since he's joined us, he has been absent. And he is, without question, one of the standout players of our season so far. So anything we can do to protect him, in the same way that bringing in Trossard, I don't necessarily think is going to replace Martinelli. But I do feel that having um, a player of Jorginho's experience and mentality, winning mentality, absolutely I think it's going to come in handy. Whether it's just the Europa League, whether, you know, if we get a run of good form and, and, and let's say Thomas Partey isn't injured, it's still going to be great to have a player like Jorginho that can come on and sub him when we're a couple of goals up or the game's already won. I think a lot of the frustration around the Jorginho signing really comes down to our past experiences of signing Chelsea players at the end of their career. So whether that's Petr Cech, who was always an outstanding goalkeeper, but we really didn't see the best of him. And it was a time in our in, in our squad where things just weren't going very well at all. Um, David Luiz, again, another uh, a really good player in his day, but I think it just come towards the end and there were too many sloppy moments from him. Um, there wasn't really a centre-back pairing that worked. I know um, there was a lot of talk before he left that he might be the kind of player to help a player like Gabriel along. But I think, you know, we've certainly upgraded from David Luiz. Um, and William, uh, and the less said about him, the better. The period where he was in the side every every game, it just did not work for him. And I think it's easy to, to criticise a player and, and have a dig at him. I think he gave his best, but for some reason the chemistry just wasn't right. So I can understand on that level that you know our track record of signing Chelsea players hasn't been great. And then there's also the the comparison. You know, whilst we're doing business for players that Chelsea no longer uh, want to use or are surplus to requirements, they're out there signing marquee players and spending 600 million in the transfer window. I, I think that's a mistake. Uh, I don't want to talk too much about that. That's Chelsea business. Um, I think for us, we needed a player who could come in and settle in quickly, was premiership ready and could play a part in games. Perhaps the idea being, you know, when Thomas Partey wants to come off at half time, 
with a slight niggle or an injury. Now we can put someone on who is certainly not an upgrade on Tom's party, but I do, as I said, I think he really is an upgrade on El Nenny. So overall, I think even though we didn't make that big Caicedo type transfer uh, at the last minute, I think what we have now is a squad that's together, that's really playing really amazingly well at the moment. I'm really excited by it. I hope that the transfer, the, the distraction of the transfer deadline behind us now, we can focus on the game against Everton on Saturday. Um, fingers crossed we don't experience that sort of Arsenal new manager bounce that we always seem to um, and we can grind out a result against them or even you know play the kind of football we have been and, and put them away. I think I'm going to stick my neck out here and say that Jorginho is going to play a part in what is going to be an amazing season for us as we march towards the Premier League title and not as a regular first team player but as a really good squad player just like Vieira is um, you know, across the team, we have players who, you know, Tommy Yasu, with a bright start that he made, we now have Ben White has really made the right back position his own, but it's great to have Tommy Yasu in there. We still have Emil Smith Rowe who can come in. Um, there are players across, the, you know, like Vieira who can come in and do a good job, and they will all be important. It's a squad game now. Um, I, I think, as I said, I'm going to stick my neck up. I'm going to stick my neck out and say that Jorginho is going to have one or two performances, really play very well, and a lot of this talk is going to be behind us. Apart from anything, look, when it comes to it, we all love this club and we all, we all feel like we know what's right for it. But you have to trust Arteta and Edu Gaspar. You have to say they haven't let us down. How many of us were excited about Ramsdale? How many of us were really excited about Ben White? How many of us, when El Nenny signed, were really particularly thrilled about it? This is going to be a season where the squad gets used because it is quite a thin squad. I'm delighted that a Brazilian-born, deep-lying playmaker, defensive-minded midfielder has come into Arsenal to add strength to the squad. Um, and, I, and I do think that viewed as an upgrade on El Nenny and Sambi Lekonga, who, uh, as we all know, has joined Crystal Palace, I think he gives us the kind of experience and composure and calm winning mentality that's going to make a real difference in key games throughout the season. And fingers crossed, there are no major injuries and it is only the odd cameo here and there that he plays. Perhaps, you know, perhaps his impact in the dressing room is something that we have to look at as well. He was a very popular player at Chelsea and I know a lot of Chelsea fans are sorry to see him go, even though he isn't at the peak of his career anymore. Um, but we do have the youngest team in the Premier League. It's it's not a bad thing that somebody, uh, you know, and again, speaking as a person who's very much older, I don't think Jorginho is that old either. He's 31 going on 32. I hate to agree at the moment. I hate to agree with Paul Merson, but I, I kind of think that he's right in saying that what we've signed is a really strong squad player um, in a position that we have precious little covering so everyone get behind it let's uh whether you whether you love them or not when they when they're playing for Chelsea when they're an Arsenal player and they've got the Arsenal shirt on it's our job to give them 100% support and I don't think he's going to disappoint us anyway that's uh that's all from today uh, I'm going to come back tomorrow and have a good look at the Everton game uh all the possible pitfalls um it's a new channel I uh, hope you like the content so far. Please click like and subscribe. It makes all the difference in the world. And I'd love to hear your comments. Might run a little poll. Um, that's enough from me for now. See you tomorrow.